pink insulation or something more expensive like rock wool. What should you use inside this wall cavity before you add drywall? Because if you want to soundproof your wall, it's kind of good to add some insulation. And of course, some people will say, Martin, that's not a soundproofing product. It's a sound deadening product. Okay, let's not talk about soundproofing or sound deadening in this video. Let's talk about noise reduction. Because when you want to soundproof a wall, essentially what you want to do is reduce the noise from one room to the next. And in a lot of videos I've talked about, if you're just going to soundproof one wall, go ahead and pay the extra for something like rock wool safe and sound because it is it has a better STC rating than just your regular pink fiberglass insulation. Regular pink fiberglass insulation will have an STC rating of around 37, 38. Rock wool will have one of around 45. So you have a higher sound deadening acoustic property with the rock wool, but is it going to make a huge difference, a noticeable, big noticeable difference when your wall is complete? The answer to that is I haven't seen it in my experience. But the reason why a lot of people are recommending it is mostly because of videos like this and why they're, they're praising it so much. This is probably why they're praising it, praising rock wool so much. Just a hunch. Today's video is sponsored by Rockwool. Today's video is sponsored by Rockwool. We're partnering with Rockwool on this video. Now, do you see a commonality between those videos? Now, it's not to crap on these YouTubers. I actually like watching some of their content. And But when you are sponsored by a company, usually you will speak very favorably of them. And it's not to say that Rockwool is not a good product because it, it does work very well. As I said, the STC rating is a little bit higher, but when you're soundproofing a wall, the insulation inside the wall doesn't matter as much as what's over that insulation, the drywall. And I'll get to that in a few minutes. Now, there are other differences between the two types of insulation. I've gone in depth details in both insulations in other videos, which I'll have links in the description below. But in this video, I'll just talk briefly about those differences. Pink insulation, it will sag over time if moisture gets into it. So if it does get wet, yes, it can sag. And what happens, your, the cavity that you just closed with sound deadening material is not going to be as closed off as it should. But the chances of that happening are pretty slim unless you have water pipes or you have a water outlet around that area. And if that is the case, then Yes, add some rock wool safe and sound or something of the sort. Now, another thing is that the rock wool is not going to burn. And one of my colleagues actually pointed that out to me. He said, Martin, I watched one of your videos and you were talking very, you know, you were talking about the rock wool, how great it was because it doesn't burn. And, and he's like, what, what really does it matter? Because your insulation is behind the drywall. How long does the room has to be on fire before the fire gets through the drywall and into the insulation. That time difference can be five, 10, 20 minutes. It's not going to matter. It's just not going to matter. Your house is going to be engulfed in flames and having a more fire retardant insulation inside behind the drywall that would have to be completely incinerated before it gets to the rock wool is not going to make a huge difference. It's not going to save your house. It's not, it's probably not going to save your life because you'd be either dead or you'd be on the streets watching your house burn down. So I've kind of thought about it and yeah, it really doesn't matter because if you are that concerned of fire safety inside your home, get a fire alarm or, or not a fire alarm, a smoke detector or get some drywall that is actually fire rated. If you go ahead and you walk inside your local hardware store, you might see the pink insulation and the rock wool side by side. And you might wonder, well, this Martin fellow on YouTube said that the rock wool is much more expensive, about 40%, 50% more expensive, depending on where you live. But you look on the shelf and they're the same price a lot of the time. Well, the reason for that is the pink insulation is going to be compressed while the rock wool is not. It's going to stay the same form that it is in the roll. So when you open her up, you'll notice that you have more fiberglass insulation. That's where the cost difference is. You have more for the exact same price as you paid for 
the pink versus the rock wool. But the thing is also, if you are just, I've advocated in the past, if you just have one wall to soundproof, then going ahead and buying the rock wool is not going to break the bank and it is going to reduce the noise by just a, a small percentage. But if you are going to soundproof an entire room or you're doing a recording studio, it can add up between $500 and $1,000 more on your budget and a lot of the times it's not really worth it. If your budget allows, then go ahead. But if it doesn't, then don't feel bad if you just use the old pink fiberglass insulation that's been around for a long time. But that sound deadening material inside the wall does matter when you want to soundproof a wall. But what is the most important thing, as I said, is the drywall. What you want to add is at very least a 5 8 inch drywall, which is thicker than your half inch drywall, which I have right here. You want to add two layers of drywall. That's where, you're, where you get the biggest bang for your buck. It's not going to be what type of insulation you use inside the wall. You should have insulation inside the wall to stop that reverberation inside the wall cavity. But after that, the most important thing is the drywall over that, which is going to actually block and stop those sound waves. The more mass you have, the more sound waves are going to be bounced off or blocked. So two layers of 5 8 inch drywall and add something in between, something like mass loaded vinyl. Mass loaded vinyl is a very dense, it's almost like rubber, it's heavy, it comes in a roll and you add it onto the existing drywall or you can add it right onto the studs and then you sandwich another layer of drywall over top of it and that will act as a lot better barrier than what type of insulation is inside of the wall. I will say however that a lot of people out there that has used Rockwool Safe and Sound does say really positive things about it. So it can be tricky to find out what is what is real out there and what is not real. But Rockwool will work a little bit better than your standard pink insulation. But it's not what you should really depend on for soundproofing your wall. It's what's over it. So there you have it, just a short, simple video, kind of clearing things up. And also, if you are looking to soundproof a wall and keep it in, keep it under budget or keep it in budget or on budget. On budget? Yeah, keep it on budget. The video right there will teach you how to soundproof a wall, soundproof a room, and use the right materials that will not break the bank and that actually works in soundproofing. So make sure to go watch that video right now.